I kid and I'm about three minutes past late at this point. Heading out to meet the usuals this morning and, and I guess we're heading north I think. At least that's the initial plan, who knows what that'll turn into. The last couple of years I didn't spend nearly as much time riding in Nova Scotia as I usually do. But now this year since I can't go to Nova Scotia, I'm really missing it. You live right near the border of two other provinces with great roads. It uh, really sucks when they close those borders. All right. Push up a quack and mirror machine it is, I guess. Looks like we've caught up with a sixth light now. Turn sign and then a bump sign. Oh yeah. Sucks. Flat tire. This is a really nice road even at a more relaxed pace. the only one getting pounded with bugs like this. It's crazy. Looks like I'm coming up on 32,000 kilometers. That's another milestone for the old girl. Especially again since 25,000 seemed like it was going to be unreachable for a little bit there. There it is. 32,000. Wonder how many more of those milestones I'm going to hit with this while I still own it. <laughs> I think at the next stop I should switch maps. I'm just kind of cruising around here, so I'm basically burning extra fuel for no reason, really. Yet another reason why a newer bike would be nice. With that H2SX, I could just kind of push some buttons right here and switch maps. Instead, with this thing, I got to get in the tail section and flip a switch. There's St. Louis' enormous Acadian flag. I haven't been up this way in a long time. I just realized we got like 115 kilometers in on this tank and I don't know if there's another fuel stop in near the park. Not too many roads in this province still in the shape of this one. Push up a quack park. It's probably only the second time I've rode through here. I'm going a little bit slower this time so we can actually have a look around. 
last time through here, I think the bike spent most of its time pretty tapped out. I seem to remember the last time we came through here, I had a had a moment wondering if I was going to make it with the fuel I had. It looks like that's the way it's going again today too. At least with the pace a little slower this time, I might conserve a little bit. Either way, I think we're going to have to stop soon just so I can clean some bugs. Wow, I can barely see anything. We're heading closer to the water. Feels like someone turned off the heat. We must be crazy. We're letting the guy in the ST pick the stops. <laughs> We're all going to be out of fuel and crippled by the time we pull over. Very nice area up here. Zena would love that beach. No leash though, she wouldn't like that. Kind of had a quick blast way past the speed limit there for a minute or two. I figured, screw it, if I'm going to run out of gas, I might as well go all out, right? We're off again. We've got fuel now. Don't got to worry about running out of that. Tons of bugs out. But it's a really nice day and they only get so many days of the season to do their thing too, so. Ho-ho! dog. There's a whole bunch of garbage on the road back there. Well, not really on the road. It was all in bags on the side of the road here and there. And at first I thought, like, what the hell happened? Did a garbage truck explode or something? And then it kind of looked like it was spread out far enough that I thought, okay, maybe they were walking along cleaning up all the trash in the road, in the ditches. And they're just filling bags and they're going to come back and pick them up. But then all of a sudden we came across a toilet. <laughs> I'd like to think if you were cleaning up along the side of the road you wouldn't find a toilet. But hey, who knows, right? I think this might be my first time coming in through here.
seen a ton of spiders out today and even a slingshot back there. Spiders, you know, I just barely get, but slingshots, man, I don't get that at all. Could have saved yourself like 20 grand and just bought an old cobalt. Take a sawzall to the roof. <laughs> Well, that was fun. All right. I'll try to find an interesting way home now. the big old bridge. Can't even remember the last time I did this on a bike. Don't do much riding up in this end of the province. But I guess when it's the only province you're allowed inside of at the moment. fishing. Hmm. Maybe something is on fire up here. Well, never mind. They're not going the direction I thought they'd be. Do they even know where they're going? Planes kind of circling about this area. You can definitely smell smoke through here. Oof, yeah, you can see it down in there too. Whatever it is, hopefully it doesn't get too out of hand. It's pretty dry out right now. Oof, really smell it. I guess that fire truck was heading in the right direction. It was just a little deceiving. Man, we got multiple planes here following this thing. Wow, there's like four planes right there. Said the police pass by in the opposite direction. Lights and sirens going. I wonder if they're heading in the direction of that fire. So many planes circling around that fire, and now I'm wondering like, hopefully, it is just a forest fire and isn't like a plane crash. Another one. There's number three. Whatever's going on, they're calling in police from a pretty far distance away. And then again, there aren't that many available police officers in the province to begin with. They tend to be spread pretty thin out in rural areas like this. They don't usually bring in this many police just for a forest fire. When we met the uh, fire truck, yeah. I thought they were lost because I, for some reason, I thought the fire was on that side of the road. Yeah. They were heading that way. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I think we'll be parting ways here, splitting up for too long. 
think at least a couple of us are going to head straight back home. And I think a couple of these guys are going to take another detour just to extend out the trip a little further. If it wasn't Sunday and I didn't have to work tomorrow, I'd probably do the same thing, but the tail end of Sunday I'd like to have at least a couple hours to relax in it. So I'd say we are nearing the end of this one. Still tagging along at this point, might as well hit that subscribe button, ring the notification bell, all that good stuff. I'm gonna head home and find out if my suspicions of a plane crash were correct. You guys can come back and check out the next one.